It's reef update time, but today's reef update is a little bittersweet. Yo, how's it going guys? And welcome to another update on V2, version 2 of The Wife. Now today's update, like I said at the beginning of the video, is a little bittersweet. And we'll get to that in a minute. First of all, I want to tell you guys about my current filming setup. Uh, I'm just trialing a few settings within my camera and I'm also using a shotgun microphone rather than a lapel microphone that I normally use and the shotgun microphone is all the way over here. So the audio might sound a little bit echoey because of the distance so I do apologise but I just want to make sure all of the settings are working because I'm going to the States next week and I'm going to be using this to film all the vlogs whilst I'm out there so I just want to make sure everything's working okay. I'm also using autofocus so as I move around we might go in and out of focus so apologies for that but I need to try the settings out. Now as I said at the beginning this update is a little bittersweet uh, and that is because we've found out today that there's a few pros and cons to the running of this tank at the moment. So we'll start off with the pros, why not? Now if you uh, watched version one of this tank, you know that I used to battle nitrates constantly throughout that version's life. Now the tank went a full year and I was constantly battling nitrates. Now I've got a good understanding of nitrates, I know how to remove them, I know how to maintain them, all of that, but no matter what I implemented in version one of this tank, it didn't work. Uh, and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Now. Obviously I explained what happened in the end in the uh, in the previous update on the display tank. If you missed that update, there will be a card just up there so you can check that out. So click on that and go and check out that video. There will also be a link at the end of the video in a link just there. So if you follow this video all the way to the end, you'll find a link to that video so you'll find out why I was struggling with my nitrates. But um, in this tank, I've just done my water test and the water tests have just come back absolutely sweet. Now, I'm currently at a nitrate level of 10. 10 nitrates, and that is falling. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to adjust my filtration to stop that from falling now. Uh, I'm gonna level out now and stick to that point because I've also got a phosphate level of 0.06. So it's borderline perfect. You know, maybe five ppm off the nitrates, but other than that, it's borderline perfect. The tank is running absolutely sweet. And not only that, I'm a little bit stingy with my food when it comes to the fish. So now that I know that the tank is actually reducing nitrates and phosphates, and quite quickly as well, because my phosphates were at 0.12 three days ago, and today they're at 0.06. So they've come down, you know, quite quickly there. So I'm gonna have to level that out so that it doesn't come down uh, anymore. But other than that, you know, the nutrient levels in this tank are running wicked. You know, they're absolutely spot on. So I'm really, really happy with that. And obviously the coloration in the corals really shows that as well. You know, everything is vibrant. You know, the cobalt blue tenius acro, vibrant as anything. I've also got a, a new coral, which you haven't seen yet, which is a uh, rainbow uh, millipora. That is again really, really vibrant. The greens in my Montipora down there uh, are just, just booming. Just everything in this tank is just really, really booming colour-wise. Now that leads me on to the little bitter section of this video. Now I wasn't actually going to make a reef update today because I didn't really have anything to talk about because everything's been the same. Nothing's really changed until 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago I did uh, some water tests on the tank because I'd noticed that one of the colonies had started to strip. Now um, three days ago I did an alkalinity test and that alkalinity came in at 7.9. 10 days before that I did an alkalinity test and that came in at 8.3. So at that time I thought it was time to up my Triton dose because my alkalinity had fallen from 8.3 to 7.9 in 10 days, which isn't drastic. So I upped my uh, Triton dose to 10 mil. Now, um, I checked my alkalinity today, and again, it's come down. So I'm thinking, 
Well, I'm sure the amount of Triton that I've added should have like, you know, slowed that drop down a little bit. So I decided to check on the dosing pump just to make sure that everything was okay. Well, that's where I ran into my little problem. So for God knows how long, I'm probably guessing for the past 16 days maybe, um, the doser hasn't been dosing two of the solutions of Triton. So Triton Core 7 has four solutions. Two of those solutions haven't been dosed. So the, uh, the pump has uh, got blocked. So it's not dosing 3A and 3B um, and the, the, the thing's blocked. <clears throat> so it hasn't been pumping any fluids through. Now I don't know how long this has been uh, because of the times that it doses. I don't see it. So that fall in alkalinity, I'm saying is down to the fact that we've not been dosing 3A and 3B. Now obviously because the alkalinity was originally at 8.8, .8, it's come down to 8.3, then 7.9, now 7.6. It's not a drastic drop, but it seems like it's just been a little bit too drastic for one of the corals in this tank. Which is a shame really because, you know, that top section especially was looking really, really nice. Now I'm hoping that now that I've got everything under control over the next week, uh, the stripping will stop and I'll just have to just frag a little bit of it off rather than lose the entire colony or have to frag the entire colony. So fingers crossed on that. but. Uh, that's it really when it comes to the update, you know, we're having, you know, we're, the nutrient levels in the tank are absolutely spot on, you know, I'm so, so happy. Nitrates are at a nice level, phosphates are at a nice level, the tank is running absolutely sweet. We've got calcium of 430, we've got a magnesium of 1350, so other than the alkalinity, the actual levels are absolutely bang on, I couldn't ask for better. The tank is running like a dream. And if it wasn't for the fact that the lines got clogged in the dosing pump, the tank would just be still running like a dream. You know, it's completely flat line perfect, this tank at the moment. So much so that, you know, I can be a little bit more frivolous with the food if I wanted to. I am a bit of a stingy feeder. I don't underfeed the fish, but I don't overfeed them as well. So now maybe I could give them a little bit of a treat and, you know, put a little bit more food in. But one thing that I am gonna have to do is cut back a little bit on my filtration in there. So I'm running bio pearls and I'm also running uh, a refusion. So I'm gonna cut back on the amount of bio pearls in the reactor to stop that um, uh, phosphate from being stripped to zero. I'm probably gonna take the pearls completely out and then just see um, if the uh, the refusion can take up the slack in, in its entirety. If not, then I'll put a, a few of the pearls back in. But yeah, guys, so that's the update. Um, I hope you've liked this video. Uh, if you've got any questions or if you've got any comments about today's video, as always, stick them in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, just click on that subscribe button there. And if you want to check out the previous update on the display tank, there is a link to it just there. There you will find out the story about what I was going through in the previous tank. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.